What's going on guys, Triple M here again and today I'm doing video number 3 of my Nvidia Shield Ultimate Setup Playlist. Now the previous two videos, video number 1 was the unboxing and just the basic information. Uh, video number 2 was a uh, walkthrough, the different menus, the different settings, as well as some of the must have apps that you can get from the Google Play Store. Well today is video number 3 and in this video I'm going to show you how to get some of the top streaming apps for your movies, for your live TV, as well as just general must have apps for your Shield. So if you guys haven't watched the previous two videos I, I put cards in the top right of this video where you can check them out also just go to my channel go to playlist go to my nvidia shield ultimate setup my journey and you can watch all those videos but uh, let's jump into it this is video number three and uh, ultimate setup for the nvidia shield <laughs> Hi guys, so when I left off, like I said, I installed some of these applications, the must have that were available in Google Play. So ES File Explorer, MX Player, uh, Silo Launcher, TV Repo, also VLC, and Kodi. So uh, those are some of the apps that are available, but a lot of the apps are not available. And this is what I'm going to jump into today. So first things first is let's go into the ES File Explorer. Alright, so we're going to change a couple settings in the ES File Explorer and that's just to make your experience within uh, this program as well as the Nvidia Shield a lot more smoother. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our settings. This is ES File Explorer, another must have app for your Shield or any Android device for that matter. So first thing we're going to do is just change a couple settings in here and that will make your experience and your box run a lot better. So let's go into our settings first. I'm going to go down to search engine settings. I'm going to click on auto select and we're going to change that to Google guys no need to do anything else I'm going to back on out I'm going to back out again next thing we're going to go to recycling bin and we want to turn that guy off the reason this is important is because when you delete old files guys they will remain in your recycling bin until you go empty it so that way when you delete something it will just uh, go away so this is a, a setting that I like to turn on but you guys have the freedom to leave it on and that will be like a fail safe personally I just feel like the apps and the different downloads that's just sitting there will take up space over time so I just delete them alright so let's go to favorites hit the drop down you can see that now you have Google here under your favorite so that's your favorite search engine and let's go ahead and jump into it let's click on it essentially you can use ES File Explorer as a browser but um, I recommend just downloading Google guys you can download Google Chrome directly and you can see already search for it so just search Google Chrome APK download you do have a lot of different places that you can get um, Chrome from guys it's just a matter of what you're familiar with and what version you're looking for so Android apps APK is free is, is a decent one you have up to down which is another one you also have apps APK and just a, a lot of different options guys like I said it's about what you're familiar with APK pure is another good one so let's click on that one and in the future if you prefer that source all you have to do is just type Chrome APK pure and it will pop up alright so right here let's click on the first one and there it is click download and it will start downloading so right now all we're doing is just downloading the files a little bit later I'm gonna show you guys how to install all of them at the same time so don't worry about the installation just yet alright so Chrome is downloading let's just go back we're gonna do another search and this time we're gonna search for set orientation APK and use the first one same thing APK pure guys and this is important because some of the apps that you download um, third-party applications guys that are not meant or designed for the shield they will come up in a portrait orientation and you can kind of use this program to kind of set it where you need it set it to landscape so very important so click on that download and you can see it is downloaded All right. So we're going to go back. And the next application is called Send Anywhere. And 
and we just search it apk pure and this just is a file sharing program guys very nice to have and uh i will be doing a video just following up on some of these applications but this is a, a good program to have once you start using it you'll you'll fall in love so we'll click on it right there click download we'll just let it do its thing since we're at apk pure might as well just do the next search from there so we also need a fire dl so search for that. And this application is an easy way to install a lot of applications on your device, guys. Instead of going to a website, all you do is go to this application, uh, put in a code, and it automatically registers and start downloading. So very nice to have. And I have done videos on this before. Very nice to have, guys. So click on it. Click download. All right, and we'll just click back. All right, so let's go home. So two more apps that are must-haves for your NVIDIA Shield or your Android boxes, guys. You need Aptoid. Search for that. And just go to the home. And what Aptoid is, guys, is, is it's almost like the Google Play Store, but it has a lot more apps that's available for the Shield. So Google Play Store kind of limits you to the application that they find compatible with your device. Well, this application, you can download a lot of different versions of the applications. And some of the ones that are paid on the Play Store, you can get them for free in here. So you want to go ahead and just download Aptoid. So click on that. It tells you to enable unknown sources. And there it goes. It will start downloading for you. All right. So we'll go back to Google again. And one more app that we need is our speed test. And we'll search um, APK Pure again. And for you guys that are new, speed test um, is exactly what it, it sounds like. It tests your network speed. Uh, maybe if you guys are having issues or something like that, you want to check and see how much um, download and upload you're getting. So a uh, good way to kind of compare to what you're supposed to be getting to what you're actually getting. That way you can kind of troubleshoot your issue. So those are the must-have apps, including uh, some of the apps that I installed earlier from the Play Store. But uh, these are, are some that you must have on your system, guys. Definitely a must, in my opinion, anyway. So let's go down to the streaming apps, which I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on. And in this category, I'm going to start with the live TV streaming app. So let's go back home. Go back to Google, I should say. And the first one is Mobdro. If you know the website, you can go there directly. It's just mobjo.to. That's the official Mobjo website. So download there. And we just let it do its thing in the background. We're going to download Snappy Streams. And like I said, these apps are all for your free live TV, guys. There it is, snappystreams.com. Click on the Android app and just let it do its thing in the background. I'm going to go back. Next one is UK TV Now. A lot of these you can get it directly from the website. So this is the actual uktvnow.net. So scroll down. You can download version 8.9 for Android or you can download for Fire Stick and Android boxes. So this is for Android phones and tablets and these are for the Fire Stick. So this is where we want to be right here for the Android boxes and Fire Sticks. All right, so that's already done. All right, go back to Google again. The last one for the live TV is Live TV Net. All right, so there it is.
and we'll let that download as well. So that was uh, five of the stream and ask free live TV. So we did Mob Joe, we did Swift streams, we did Snappy streams, UK TV now. We also did live TV net. So now we get into our stream and ask for our movies and TV shows, guys. So let's go back to Google. And of course, the top dog is Terrarium TV. And Terrarium TV, the website is down right now, guys. So all you have to do is just search Terrarium TV. The current version is 1.8.3, I believe. There it is. Just click on that. And I'll just go with this guy right here. Click download. It's almost got me. So click on the green download button. And there it goes. So Terrarium TV is the top dog for your TV shows and movies. All right. I have a lot of windows open. We'll close out some of them. All right, go back to Google. Another good one is uh, FreeFlix HQ. There it goes. Download the APK. Let that finish. Cinema Box is another good one. Cinemaboxhd.com. And the one that we're looking for is this one, Cinema Box APK Download, the RAW. And there it is. Scroll down. Download Cinema Box APK. Click on that. You can see it's doing its thing. All right, so let's go back to Google. The next one is Showbox, very popular, very good as well. And just hit the top result right here. Showbox APK. Scroll down some more. This is where you want to click right here. Download Showbox. All right, so that was Showbox. And the last one is Movies HD. And we'll just put APK, APK Pure. We'll just search Movies HD. All right, click right here. That's the main website. There it is. Download Movie HD APK. All right, so that was all of them for your streaming applications. And this was for your movies and TV shows. Some of the top ones with the Terrarium TV, FreeFlix HD, Cinema Box, Showbox, as well as Movie HD. So we're going to install one more application, and that's for you gamers out there. And of course, this is the Happy Chick um, APK. And, and basically, you can play all the retro games, guys. So N64, PlayStation, you have. Um, Game Boy, you have Nintendo 64, a lot of different games that you can download and play from this application. So let's go back to Google. We're just going to search for the Happy Chick. You want to make sure you download the mobile version, guys. So Happy Chick. We just search the mobile. And there it is. All right. So we can get it from um, up to down. Click there. And there's the icon right here, guys. This is one of the best emulators, guys. Must have, especially for an NVIDIA Shield that can handle all the games on here. So click download. 
once you're done downloading all these applications you will need to go in and install them and I'm going to show you how to do it um, real quick install all of them at the same time so we're going to go back home like we are right now I'm going to click on internal storage I'm going to go to download and here we are these are all the apps that we did download guys so um, all of them are there and you can just um, long press on any one of them and it should bring up the option to check all of them so let me just go back all you have to do is just click and long press and it will um, put a check mark on the app that you're on so to select all just go up to the top click select all and you can see that all the applications are now selected so from here we're going to go down to more and we're just going to click install all right, so what it'll do now, it will go through all the different APKs that you just downloaded and start installing them one by one. So let's click install here. This is for free Flix HQ. And this might take a while, guys, so I probably will speed this video up a little bit right here. Alright guys, so everything's all done installing. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave these APKs downloaded because in a future video, I will be showing you guys how to just transfer them onto a local drive or local storage. That way you can have them as a backup. I've seen far too many times where websites go down, for instance, to MTV. That site is down right now. And also, if you're installing on multiple devices, it's a lot easier to just grab a USB drive or grab a hard drive and just plug it into that device and install the APK. So just leave the APKs here for now and we're just going to go back home and just show you guys that they are installed alright so here we are guys and uh, one thing that you guys will notice is that once you download and install these applications you won't see them here on your apps under this area so what you'll see is the default stuff and by default the Nvidia Shield does not put your apps under here so I went ahead and I put some of them there and normally how you would get to these apps is you would have to go down to your settings you would have to go to apps and then you'll have to launch an app from here which is not um, preferable so what I'm gonna show you guys and if you guys watch my previous video so I downloaded two apps in my previous video just to show you guys how to alleviate this so one app is called silo launcher and what this does is when you click here you'll see all the apps that you downloaded or have installed and you can essentially just go ahead and launch them from here so if I wanted to um, launch showbox I will just click there and Showbox will go ahead and launch. Let me go back home. Now, if you notice, you don't see Showbox anywhere here on the main menu. So that's one way to launch it. Another way, which is even better, is this application called TV App Repo. And this is also installed on my previous video, guys. So what this does is this actually creates a shortcut and installs it on your home screen. So let's demonstrate with an app that we don't have. Um, scroll over. You don't have Showbox here on the main screen so let's go ahead and launch the TV app repo and we're gonna go down to show box there it is so we just click there we'll go down to create shortcut and it's gonna say please wait this may take up to 20 seconds just give it some time And there it goes. Download completed. So give it another second. Go ahead and click install. Click done. And now we're just going to go back home. And bam, there's Showbox. So that's how you go ahead and add these apps to your launcher, guys. And it's just a restriction of the Lean Back launcher for the NVIDIA Shield. It's one of those things that we have to um, kind of work around. But if you have these two apps downloaded, the Silo Launcher, as well as the TV app repo, then you won't have that issue anymore. Also, while you're here, you can move stuff around. All you do is a long press. Then you can move the Silo Launcher right there. And you can move um, anything around how you feel fit. So let's go ahead and launch Showbox. That's the one that we just um, installed on the home menu. So we'll click there. And there we go. So one thing about Showbox, if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, uh, you need a keyboard and mouse to navigate around this. A remote won't do it, guys. Right now I have the remote. Yes, I can scroll up and down. But there's no cursor. So I can't go to the menu and I can't kind of move around how I need to. You need to actually click right there and you need to select the menus. You can't do that with a remote, guys. So you do 
need a keyboard and mouse or a mouse to, to go ahead and navigate in that. So let's go back home. So the first one we're going to test out is a live net TV. And this is a very good app for your free TV guys. It's very comparable to um, Mobjo. So brief overview, entertainment, you can go by region or by movies. And you have a lot of different options here, guys. So let's go over, go all the way back over this way. And let's just go to sports. You can see you have your DD Sports there, Star Sports, 10 Sports, BN. You have the ESPNs right there, NBA TV. Let's try ESPN. And you do have different links, guys, that you can choose from. And another added bonus, you can pick your default player. So I do have MX player. I also have the XYZ player, 3 to one player. Let's go to MX. And let's click Allow. This is my first time using it. And look at the quality of that, guys. Let me just get out of here. And let's do one for movies now. Let's go to Terrarium TV, of course. Very popular one. Let's click Allow, 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 Accept. And here we are. So let's just pick a family guy there. We'll go to Season, Season 12. And we'll just click OK, not to show that again. And just hit the big Play button in the right. All right, we'll just give it a second for it to find the links. All right, guys, so one thing about this, of course, is that they are ad-driven because they're free. So uh, you just got to watch out where you click. So we do have a couple HD links. Let's click the first one. From here, you can just play with a default player or you can play with. And you can pick your favorite player. So you do have MX. You do have VLC as well. Let's pick DLC for this one. We'll click Allow. This is our first time using it. And VLC will do its thing, and you can see good quality as well. So that was just a test just to show you guys that the apps are working. But try to keep this video short for you. But this was video number three of my NVIDIA Shield Ultimate Setup Playlist. And this was, of course, installing your streaming applications, which includes your live TV, TV shows, as well as some must-have apps for your NVIDIA Shields. So if this video helped you, please give me two thumbs up. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way, when a new video or giveaway is released, you will be notified. So thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.